but now X against Dazzle. Chop up through the shallow grave. Spin versus the wolves. Mass armor versus mass physical damage. I like it. His Mihawk. Done. Top lane though, they're making it go. Your first coil, I talk about Swindle, looking to put it to use right away. And he starts right here, top lane. They're able to strike first. So Goose yeah. scouted out Roshan. Ooh, Swindle's here though. Swindle does have coil. The Swindle want to jump though. There's a lot of information they don't know. Oh, there's a jump and Evil gets a hold of him. Ooh, the shift though. That call only level one, not going to hold Swindle very long, unfortunately, but they can still pursue. Coil returned on three, but there's the chop, the first slam of the game, Merlini. Evil gets it. Ravage only catches just the back end two. Can Complexity return fire? Well, they got Moon Meander here. They rush on forward. They do clean up the axe and the Marana. It's Complexity who come out big on this and with the shapeshift already out. Maybe just let them know I'm here, but I don't think they're going to deter. Complexity have already got a good thing going, and they drop. So I can't help but feel like Axe Man with only the one I level. I don't know. Ball, it wasn't Smash might enough. go in. There's a big stomp. It does put everyone to sleep. And a snooze jump in from Smash, but it is going to be picked up from Moon. He immediately strikes back onto Smash. Smash might not be able to get out. He will not. Oh, valiant effort to try to jump in and contest that Roche, but he does end up coming up short. That he was falls. so close to stealing it. Yeah. That stomp was very well timed. Oh, Swindle gets caught out, and there's another jam. Gets nicely locked in place with jam the again. follow up and Moon Meander. Can we get a second one? Nope, we're going to reserve it. We got a life to break through here, and that precious Aegis that Complexity got might be going quickly, but they first do work bottom. They get a hold of Dazzle, Hassan Chop. They want more. Watermelon. You ready to go down? Now, Evo does not have the mana for this one, but it does not matter. They're still able to easily slice them apart. Now quickly back the other way. It's not today. Now under the shadow, it's going to be Masuko getting away from this one. Axe just simply blinks away from the coil. And now Complexity might need to consider making a run here. Limp can be quickly shallow grave. Now he stays still waiting for that Ravage to come out just yet. Moon goes forward. It's very back and forth, but that's slide of fist. They take down Tidehunter. No Ravage for Complexity. Now they gotta try to get out of here, but they can't. They get chopped down. Z Freak gonna be caught. Can Bloody Nine make his way out? He goes right for a desperate nook. And oh, they actually see out. Moon Meander. Ewo, Smoke is going to be Pop Lanine's right there. Is he going to make the jump? No, he just calls. Ah! Damn you, Dazzle, for being there. <laughs> I don't know. He probably he probably tried to blink, but unfortunately he's not. Oh, that, this one goes off, though, but he doesn't have call. <laughs> so he makes the jump on the Moon. Moon's just kind of like, oh, he's going at it. But now he gets the blink off. He gets the call off there with the Blade Mail, and Moon has nowhere to go, and he gets chopped down. But here's your Ravage. is coming through, but it just hits Ewo. Miss Cal even makes it out with the Swift Blink, avoiding that gush. But Bloody Nine chopped right on top of the right of the head, the noggin, if you will. Evo gets another great kill. Swindle, they're persistent for more, but uh oh, Complexity get caught out again. Swindle goes down and back and behind. They clean up another, and Complexity lose four immediately. That was just what felt like one after the other. After Moon Meander got caught, they're like. They're getting wrecked by a Tidehunter and by Puck, but they're just busy trying to protect Moon Meander or let him farm, but they're not really protecting him at all. And it looks like Z Freak may die here. Mihawk setting it up with a stomp. Get to next. The arrow. Boom. Perfect. Earth Splitter. That was just. That was perfect. I really like the blink call into. Oh, he doesn't have a TP score. Yet. Desperate times call for desperate measures of your complexity. Blinking coil and everything we could put out there just to take down that little Marana, pesky Marana. It is complex. Team to six, and you can see by the positioning here of not today, they are in full control. They got the wards now down the mid lane. Easy take down of this tier two tower. Moon Meander trying to split push with this Lycanthrope, throwing together the remaining components of his AC. Oh, he gets called up in mid, limp, gets blade mail and chopped. No Ravage, he's out. He does have buyback and it would be scary if already at this point they need to use it. Bloody Nine gets called out as well. One quick slide of fist, another chop. It's Ewo coming home with the big dunks in this one. And well, he steps back. Swindle trying to press them back out. Moon Meander even makes the rotation to this mid lane. Ewo could be in trouble here, but he puts out a nice call. He's actually coming back to some damage. There's your Ravage. Lift does come back from the dead. Now your Aegis is going to be burnt here, but Ewo's back. Quick blink away. Not today, lose no one else for now, but it is going to be Limp jumping forward and he was See the chop. Hits. Oh, the chop! Oh, that Shallow Grave, not going to matter, my Dazzle friend, as the Calling Blade will just immediately slash you down. And now Bloody Nine will fall again. Another chop! This is the Globetrotters of Slams coming out right now from Not Today. Let's see it! Oh, boom! Another one. He is godlike. Just wrecking complexity. Holy Toledo. You were questioning how. 
Well, they might have the answer here. Arrow flies through, not going to catch. But the follow-up with the Ravage does catch on Smashing Evo. Do they have enough damage to break him, though? It's taking way too much sweat and not enough payoff here. Moomiander presses forward. He's big, bad, and gold. And he is trying to run down Smash here. But Smash... He's not too faltered. He just steps right back. Meanwhile, back in the middle, it's Ewo cleaning house. Immediately takes down your Tidehunter. And now they're looking for the follow through. Z Freak, boom! You gotta go as well. Double kill for Ewo. Bloody Nine. Can we serve him up, please? Dark. One. Boom! Three dunks back to back. It's Ewo putting on a clinic. Break the base here in game number one of this final. And you got Ewo who's shopping at home, his big lumberjack of an axe. Been dunking his way all the way, man. 17 and 2 on his axe, and this could be the last hurrah. Complexity waiting on the wings here. You got your Blink Ravage at the ready, but they're trying to battle into these wards, trying to clear them out, and wow, Smash gets an immediate kill from behind the lines and takes down Little Visage. And now you don't have Moon Z ready. Moon caught right in the Done middle. Call forward. follow up. There's just gonna be no way, but the Ravage, is it gonna be enough to save Moon? Moon trying to shift. Oh, can't get it off. Moon still in there trying to fight it about, but they already burst about the Tide Hunter. Now they're just gonna right click down Moon very easily. Swindle is gonna be next to fall down here, and that's gonna be enough for a GG call. Not today. Make quick work of complexity in game number one. 30 to 7 at 32 minutes in with a well over 15k net worth lead. It's GG go next. Win it from the start. Miss Cal. He is fired up and ready right now, man. Outdrafted. Go next. Out and remember. It was Complexity on their Twitter who were like, hey everyone, make sure you vote and you put your redemption vote towards Not Today because they will need it after this series. Big words from Complexity, but they do go down in game number one, Merlini.